Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. You know we love the wine on Urban Rush, and we're going to celebrate some wines under $20. Oh, hello. Who doesn't love to hear that? Dana Von Mulligan joining us, uh, and we're talking about wine. She's up. You're up at Cornucopia this weekend? I am, yeah. Uh, how, life in wine. This is a good choice. It's a very good choice. You kind of get paid to drink, actually. <laughs> but yeah, I'm a girl. Cornucopia every year. I look forward to it. It's a nice big party. I don't know if I'll see you guys up there or not. I'll be up there, and you're doing a couple there. of seminars? I am. I'm doing uh, my usual morning seminar which is diva dishes on breakfast wine so we'll have some bubble in the morning and then I've got New Zealand in the afternoon nice. so I was there earlier this year when you're at these events do you actually see a lot of new stuff I mean are there new trends in wine are you seeing a lot of uh, interesting things or is it just yeah well you know I think what happens is you get you get the consumer aspect of it, so you get to see what they're drinking, what they right. like as well. I mean, we're kind of bringing the information to them. You know, me, if I'm doing a, a seminar, and, and all the agents that bring their wines up, so we get to yeah. see what, they are, what they're drinking and see what they're doing. Now, before we get cool. to the wines, the two of you went to elementary school together, and guess what? <laughs> I told you I finished elementary. We have a class <laughs> photo here. Now I can spot Eckford a mile away. He's bottom right, white shirt. Oh, yeah. And How where are you? How great is that? I'm second from the end there with the nice little vest on. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> Roberts Creek Elementary School. Yep. So good. That's grade six? That is grade six. Yeah. Cute. yeah. Jack Tiernan. Your, your hair's got a little darker in color and mine's got blonder. Yeah. <laughs> that happens to men and women. It's like that a does. miracle, isn't it? Okay, let's get to the wines because we've got some great picks today. Uh, tell us about the wine we're going to try first. Well, this is from Argentina, and right now I think everybody's drinking Argentine wines, it seems. But this is a the white variety of Argentina. Usually you know Malbec, which is the red. And this is Torrantes, which is right. the, the name of the grape variety. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this is an organic wine, so it's from Miquel Torino, and mm -hmm. he makes a number of different wines, but the Kuma line is all organic. And the thing I love about Torrantes, and you said earlier, Mike, that you have had Torrantes before, yeah, is the just, aromatics in this mm -hmm. wine. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's very floral it's beautiful. and yeah. And fresh. And fresh. Mm -hmm. And you get a little bit of spiciness to it, very lime flavors. What do you think there, Eckford? Oh yeah, lots of citrus, but the tart. Mm. Mm. It's very yeah. nice, nice yeah. clean finish. That's a very refreshing this wine. This is something you can just sip on its own. You can have it with food, like something a bit spicier if you want. Yeah. But I'm, like I'm guessing this one, or is yeah, generally they are on oak. They're usually just really clean and crisp. Sometimes they do oak them, but uh, this one's just a nice clean yeah, kind of pristine like wine. Line. And what have we got here from Quailsgate? Yeah, Quailsgate, one of our favorite producers, of course, from BC. Uh, this is their Chenin Blanc. Now, they make so many really good wines, and it's hard to choose, but I love the Chenin Blanc because it's got this nice crispness. Uh, it's not a usual wine, you know, Chardonnay, yeah. Riesling, it's a little bit different. Uh, great with seafood, but it's got a real vibrancy to it too, and I really like vibrant, crisp whites. Is that part of the continuing effort of, of all these uh, vintners and, and winers trying to figure out what really works in, in BC? Because that's still a process that yeah. we're seeing unfold. A yeah, bit. we are, and we're, we're doing it better and better. I mean, we're still a very young winemaking region, but Chenin Blanc is actually one of the older vines that you'll find in BC, oh, interesting. and some of them are up to 40 years old which, you know, for us, 40-year-old wines, that's, old. that's, that's yeah. pretty old, you know? <laughs> that goes right back to the beginning. Now, we want to move on over here. Uh, this is a Malbec, and uh, it's uh, Casiero del Diablo. Yes. Cellar of the Devil. Yeah, people would be recognizing probably some of their other... Uh, yeah. Grapes, yeah, grapes. exactly. Well, you know, it's Concha Toro, and they are probably the largest producer in all of all of Chile. Uh, they make really good, solid, consistent wines. The Malbec, it, this is a very first time for them, though. You think of Malbec from Argentina; they're next door in Chile, and this has, to me, it's a little bit more feminine in style. The Malbecs from Argentina tend to be a bit more masculine, brooding, kind of a little Big, beefy savory, wine. beefy yeah. wines, exactly. <laughs> and this, to me, is a little bit more red fruit, a little bit more violets, and I really like that style. I mean, it's kind of nice to chill down a little bit. Ten I'm interested yeah. to try this one because I. Was like Malbecs. Now yeah. this one here uh, has a very, very interesting packaging. Tell us about this one. Well, that is a glass stopper, and you oh. don't see them very often. No, it comes I like this. Yeah, I, you, I, I you thought unscrew? that was yours. You just pop that off. Yeah, and then you just off, and you take the glass stopper out, and you can re recork it with the glass Which stopper. Which is fantastic. Yeah, exactly. And it just pops so, back in. Really? Yeah, it's just a, you know, as a screw cap, it's maybe a little bit nicer to look at. Yeah. And I see them a lot in Germany in Rieslings there, but this is the first red I've seen it. Fascinating. I like that. Uh, and then, uh... Did you want to try some of that? Yeah, I kind of do. That's a little bit of Nero Davila <laughs> from Sicily, a little Sicilian oh, red there. Oh, a Sicilian there, one. I have no problem with that. Okay. So that's Nero Davila, which is their most important red grape variety. And why is it important? Is it well, just like... it, it's because it, it's their indigenous variety. Okay. So they've got a lot made from it. Excellent. Yeah. It's very tasty. 
Mm. Little bit spicy, but nice red fruit. Um, I think this has got great really aromas, so mm -hmm. a great nose, as we say. Mm, but fresh too. Very fresh. And now we want to quickly... It's amazing how aggressive everybody's getting with their pricing now. You're really seeing that from a lot of countries, yeah. uh, and especially in the old uh, world. Europe is half having to step up a little bit, I think, to keep up with the emerging markets. Absolutely, and we're seeing more and more of them here now. So. That's good. $20 and under makes everybody happy. Yeah. And this guy right here. Yes, um, yes, Faustino Rivero, and this is a, a lovely wine. You can see it's a Reserva, so it's got some age on it already, which is nice. You don't have to put it in your cellar. You can drink it right away. It's yeah. Tempranillo and Grenache, and still, it's only $18. That's amazing. That's uh, a great bottle of wine. And it gives people that idea of what happens to wine as it ages as well, and at an yep, affordable exactly. price point. I yeah. mean, it really does... It blends nicely and sort of goes throughout the wine. And the last but not least, what have we got on the end here? Ooh, that's the big boy. That's Joel Gott, which is a Zinfandel from California. I think if you've had a Zinfandel before, you know it's very California. Lots of blueberry fruit, lots of spice. It's kind of a, a nice fireside wine to mm -hmm. me. Like I think about Zinfandel in the winter Good and the fall. Good for Whistler, perhaps. Good for <laughs> Whistler, and that was that was the most maybe. expensive of them all at twenty dollars. You know, so really, you, there's a lot of options. So how many <laughs> under twenties do you have on your list? Well, they're all being sneak previewed, you know, with you guys today here. So there'll be a hundred. Uh, of top 100, I put them as my top 100. They're yeah. also the highest scoring within their price category. Fantastic. So, lots well, of available. thank you so much. If you want to find out the li more about the list, you can go to winediva.ca. And as you know, it's cornucopia time in Whistler this weekend. You can go to whistlercornucopia.com to find out more about all the seminars and all the fun parties happening. You're going to cornucopia this weekend. I am. Be better I may than, never come back. I, I was going to say, I know how you are this Monday after a weekend of sort of having <laughs> Vancouver cornucopia. So. We're going to take a quick break.